What if I tell you the Pomodoro technique you're using is not going to work for Neat PG? Let me explain how. Imagine you're studying the biochemistry cycle, a Krebs cycle, for example, and you have set a Pomodoro timer of 25 minutes. And just when you were, you were starting to understand the concept, the Krebs cycle, your Pomodoro alarm rings. Can you imagine the frustration you'll feel at that moment? Because itni mushkil se to tum biochemistry samaj rahe ho. And finally, when you are understanding something, the alarm rings. And now it's time for your break. That is your five minutes break. So that's your traditional Pomodoro. You set a timer for 25 minutes and then you take a break of five minutes. So that 30 minutes is one Pomodoro. And you complete this cycle again and again. But this doesn't work for Neat PG because when you start reading for the second Pomodoro, you won't be able to pick up exactly where you left off. You need some time to focus again. You need to some time to get back the rhythm again. So if you are following the traditional Pomodoro, please stop it. Because this is going to break your rhythm. This is going to break your focus. And the second problem is, you know that five minutes break is never five minutes. Try it. You try taking a five minute Instagram break. When after the five minutes, the bell rings. Will you be able to keep your phone aside and start again? Your five minute break then will turn into an hour's break without you even knowing. So how do you actually fix this? What is the solution for it? Let me show you my secret strategy which I had used during my preparation days and I secured a rank of 135 using it. So I call it the 50-10 method. You need to focus for 50 minutes straight. No gap in between. You set a timer for 50 minutes which is an average time to understand any medical concept. So you focus on the concept for 50 minutes and when the timer rings, you take a 10 minutes break. But here's a catch. This 10 minutes break is not your Instagram break. You're not going to see your phone. You're not going to get distracted. Because in this 10 minutes, you are going to consolidate whatever information you have gained in the last 15 minutes. So during this 10 minutes, I want you to create a mind map to visualize whatever you have studied. I want you to summarize whatever you remember in a small book. And to make you understand this technique better, let me actually do it and show you. How do you actually do this 50-10 method? And I'll show you the traditional Pomodoro as well so that you can compare and learn how will my method benefit you compared to the traditional one. So let's go. So I was studying glycolysis by keeping the Pomodoro timer. For 25 minutes, I had studied almost this much. That is the investment phase, split phase, generation phase. I learned all the reactions. I learned how much ATP is generated from aerobic and anaerobic and I understood what were the irreversible steps. And just when I was about to understand the regulation of glycolysis, the importance of phosphofructokinase and fructose 2,6 bisphosphate and learn how exactly the enzymatic reaction works. My Pomodoro timer ran out and it was my break time. And now I have a 5 minutes break. So if I start scrolling Instagram or if I, you know, take a break, do you think that will last for five minutes or it will extend? It definitely will extend, right? Because I had concentrated so much and my brain is so saturated with all these, you know, glycolysis steps and stuff, which I had studied almost four years back. So now my brain is overwhelmed with this information. So I think I deserve a break. So you know what I'll do? I'll just pause this timer, take a long break and after... 15-20 minutes then I'll restart this again. So it's still a short break, right? It's still the timer is in my control. So now the problem is even if I don't stop the timer, let's suppose I don't stop the timer. Let's suppose I just take five minutes break and after that I come back and try to concentrate. Do you think I'll be able to continue with the exact same focus which I had started during the previous Pomodoro? No, right? I'll definitely have problem in focusing because I'll have to go through it again. I'll have to go through the reaction where there is this phosphofructokinase acting. So I'll have to go through the cycle again. I'll have to, you know, read the entire thing again. So this is actually a time waste. So instead of this, what if the timer was of 50 minutes? Then definitely I would have completed this reaction. I would have completed reading the mechanism from where the most confusing MCQs are asked. You're definitely going to get stuck when a question on the rate limiting enzyme is asked. Whether it was PFK2, whether it was PFK1, was it fructose 1,6 bisphosphate or 2,6 bisphosphate. So in order to understand this step and in order to solve the MCQ without any doubt, you need to learn this step with highest focus, isn't it? So if there was no Pomodoro timer, 
I would have understood this step better. So now since the Pomodoro timer rang, I have to go through it again. So it's kind of a time waste for me. So what to do? How to solve this problem? How to solve, break this Pomodoro cycle? So let me share with you my secret strategy, which helped me get that 135 rank. What I did was concentrate for 50 minutes straight and then take a 10 minute break. So now let me show you how this works. So what I did was I had set a timer of 50 minutes and I studied the topic of breast and breast cancer for 50 minutes and the next 10 minutes is when I consolidated whatever I had read in those 50 minutes and made a concise notes which would help me in revision. So what happened with this method? I finished the topic, I took a break as well and I also ha have a concise notes at the end of one hour. So for, for the first 15 minutes, I had to focus and read whatever I could on the topic of breast from Bailey and Love and try to understand as much as possible and as the bell rang, I took a break. But this time it was not an insta break or a chill break. It was a break from studying but I used that time to consolidate whatever I had studied. So I closed my eyes and I made a mind map of whatever I studied during the past 15 minutes. And when I finally made a mind map, then I made a concise notes using active recall technique. I wrote whatever I could recall, but if I couldn't, I went back to my notes, referred and reinforced my memory. So what is the advantage of this? Now I have a concise notes if I want to revise breast the next time. So this was my one cycle. So I would continue similarly for two more cycles. So just after the 10 minute break, I, I would start a timer again of 15 minutes, then continue reading, then again concise. But, but I suggest you make a concise notes in a separate book so that it will be handy for your revision and you don't have to, you know, refer to some other revision source. So with this technique, you have a main notes as well and you have a revision notes as well. So it's up to you what you want to refer in the last moment. If you are well versed with the revision notes and if you if all the topics come to your brain immediately, then you don't need to go through the main notes again. But if you get stuck somewhere, if you think you're not able to remember something, then definitely you can go through the main notes. You have it ready, right? You can do this even while watching the video lectures. You can keep making your own notes while watching the video lectures and pause it when your timer hits 50 minutes. Consolidate whatever you have read in the last 50 minutes. Take 10 minutes, consolidate and make a mind map and make a concise notes. This way you would have revised whatever you have studied and you won't get that burnout. So this powerful technique is my secret to get that 135 rank. You are doing your revision side by side, you are having active recall side by side, you are doing a photographic memory as well, you are taking a break as well and you are also understanding the concepts and you are not wasting a lot of time as well. Give it a try and let me know. How does it work out for you? So you do, you can do at least two to three cycles of it continuously and then take a long break of one and a half hour, whatever is required. So by doing this, you start strengthening your focus. So let's suppose if you do three cycles non-stop, so you are concentrating for three whole hours in between you're taking even 10 minutes break and also you're making a concise notes. You also understanding the concepts well. So if you keep doing this, you will train your brain in such a way that for three hours, you will be focusing with your highest potential for those three hours, which is what is required for you need PG exam. You need 210 minutes, that is three and a half hours of undisturbed focus. So it's really hard to build that focus. It's really hard to sit for three and a half hours without getting distracted. You might have faced this during giving a GT. Within an hour, you, you feel saturated, you feel frustrated. You're not able to focus. So I want you to practice this method, this Pomodoro method which I had used during my preparation phase and the result is in front of you. In the first time, my rank was 1.22 lakh and in the next year, my rank was 135. And it was all possible because I was able to study like this. The initial days felt difficult, but slowly I built the routine of do doing this Pomodoro and active recall technique. And I started studying for almost 12 hours a day. I used to do th three cycles of this 50-10 then take a break of one hour, then again repeat for three cycles and then take a long break. So I used to do 10 to 12 cycles like this and my study duration would reach up to 12 hours per day. You know, there's a saying that hard work always beats talent. But when you combine hard work with smart work, 
there's no one to stop you from being a topper and i am the live example in front of you so keep studying keep hustling and don't give up that dream rank of yours you've already been chasing and so please share this video to your friend who's also struggling to concentrate for long hours so please mention in the comment whichever topic you want me to create a 5010 modified pomodoro so that i'll show you exactly how to study and how to make a mind map and how to make a consolidated notes so that it'll help you in your last moment revision and don't forget to subscribe because a lot of interesting videos are on its way thank you for watching